Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. Welcome to the update for Thursday, February 13th, 2020. Got a free pick coming up in just a moment in both college basketball and the PGA. First, a quick note, if you have yet to become a member at DocSports.com, just want to give it a trial run, all you got to do is click on that link in the description box located below the video and get yourself set up for a free $60 account. You can use those free $60 bucks on any of my daily packages or anybody else on the roster at DocSports.com. All right, college basketball and PGA for Thursday. First, a quick note, uh, just to let you know, we're cutting this about 5 p.m. Pacific on Wednesday for Thursday. College basketball card handicapped. Uh, the game I'm about to give you, I don't think is going to move away from the current number that it is right now enough to make a difference. So uh, we're also coming to you, by the way, for a couple of reasons. I've got PGA on this report. They're my bets in the PGA. I'm not posting any PGA at DocSports.com, so you're going to get a couple of my plays right here for free. And of course, it starts early in the morning, so I want everybody, if they agree with me to be able to jump on board and join us for uh, the Genesis Invitational. Uh, we will recap everything on Friday's video, 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific time on Friday, uh, since we're unable to do that tonight, cutting this early. And uh, let's get to it, guys. Uh, we start first in uh, PGA action, which begins early Thursday morning. Got a couple of plays for you. First of all, uh, we're gonna back Xander uh, Schauffele at 15 to one to win the tournament. And listen, some of the things that we feel you need to be able to do on this particular course, uh, he fits the bill. I mean, you've got a guy who's great with his irons. He loves these greens. You can tell he likes the greens when he plays on this course. He's got a couple of uh, runner-up finishes at Genesis and also uh, we like guys who are low off the tee, and Shafle is definitely that. So, real quick note on that: we like Shafle at 15 to one. We've also got a round one matchup. We're going to back Bubba Watson over Dustin Johnson. And listen, we like the way Bubba Watson is looking as uh, as of late, no doubt about it. And also, if you look at the things and the qualities that we just talked about for Shafle on this particular course, Watson fits the bill also when it comes to those things: iron work, greens, scrambles well, everything. Uh, low off the tee. You get it all with Bubba Watson. He does well on this particular course. And listen, we're not Dustin Johnson haters or detractors like many, uh, but he did struggle at Pebble. He finished tied for 32nd. Um, and he has done well at Riviera. He's been in the top four six times. We get all that stuff when it comes to him, but we just think he's in a tough spot here. I don't like the way he's playing of late, whether it be from travel or just struggling a bit with his game, but I do like Bubba Watson. It's an opening round, round one matchup. Bubba Watson over Dustin Johnson. All right, that's our Genesis picks. Let's get to college basketball for Thursday night. We're going to back the Indiana Hoosiers over the Iowa Hawkeyes. Big Ten home teams, you know how they've been doing. They've been cleaning up at home for most of the season, for the most part. And uh, as far as this game is concerned, you got a couple of teams with similar home road dichotomies. They're good at home, not all that hot, not that great on the road. And if you look at the Iowa true road game schedule this year, they've had a couple of serious clunkers, a couple of double-digit losses, including that 36-point recent loss uh, at Purdue. And when you look at their numbers as far as rebounding is concerned on the road, a big stat for me, uh, they're not not good on the road when it comes to rebounding while you've got Indiana at home averaging about 10 more rebounds per game than they allow to Big Ten opposition. Indiana also scores in the high 70s, about 78 and a half points per game. They shoot well at home, and Iowa does not defend well on the road. They're giving up a good 78 to 79 points per game, and they also allow a pretty decent shooting percentage to their host. Uh, one last thing about Indiana, the one place they struggle at home is three-point defense. It's not horrible by any stretch, but it's also not really super good, and I think they'll be okay in this game uh, because Iowa's been really bad on the road from the three-point line, hitting less than 29% of their three-point attempts. So we're going to back Indiana on Thursday. And again, we'll be right back here on Friday, 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific. We'll recap everything from Wednesday night and Thursday night at that time. And also, again, don't forget Thursday's card. I've got a multiple game college basketball card that will be posted at 11.30 a.m. Eastern. I will be in the NHL. That'll be at 1 p.m. Eastern. Go check it out over at DocSports.com. If you like the videos, click on that thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports. Sports.com. Let's put Thursday in the win column right back here Friday morning.